All my life, America has stood for some very important things, an idea of freedom and an idea of democracy. And uh, as, you, as you say, as you suggest, insofar as uh, in, he encouraged people to uh, storm the, the Capitol and insofar as the, uh, the president consistently has cast doubt on uh, the outcome of a free and fair election, I, I believe that that was completely wrong. I think what President Trump has uh, been saying about that has been uh, completely wrong, and I, and I un unreservedly uh, condemn uh, encouraging people to behave in the disgraceful way uh, that they did in the Capitol. And all I can say is I'm very pleased that the president-elect has now been uh, properly confirmed, duly confirmed uh, uh, in office and, uh, and that democracy has prevailed. Well, President Trump has to take responsibility. What happened was appalling. It wasn't protest. It was an attack on democracy. Um, and responsibility lays with President Trump. No doubt about that. Well, of course, we all want an orderly transition. He should have said it a long time ago. Um, and so let's have that orderly transition. Let's see President Trump take responsibility for his actions. Often what he says isn't matched by what he does. So the sooner we get that orderly transition, the better. I think it's very important that the government, the Prime Minister, speaks out against this, as he did last night, and make clear it's an attack on democracy, that it isn't protest, and that responsibility lies with President Trump. We, and it's a very important message for the UK.